Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another 1-6 scale third party unlicensed figure unboxing and review. Today, finally, we're taking a look at Wong. Not made by Hot Toys. This particular Wong is made by Toys Battalion. He's also known as the Sorcerer Supreme. Very fitting. Now I got mine from ToysWonderland.com. Link for that is in the description below for your reference purposes only. This is, after all, an unlicensed, unofficial figure. This is not a promotional video. This is a review on a Wong figure that's going in my Doctor Strange collection after this video is done. While you're down in the description, why not hit that subscribe, bell notification icon, and join button so you're notified as soon as a brand new review goes live on the channel. As for the box art, Unfortunately, even though this was packed really well, it was in a shipper, then bubble wrapped, then in another cardboard box, DHL, it seems, they like to play football with their packages. As you can see, mine has sustained some damage. I hope yours doesn't have that issue. Up front, we have an image of Wong, a silhouetted image with the window of the Sanctum Sanctorum in the background. Then down below, Toys Battalion. On the side of the box, we have some runes, maybe to signify magic, and also a bunch of dots in different colours. More magic? On the back of the box, warnings and legal info. Plus, some astronomy? I'm pretty sure those are the moon phases. Okay, Toys Battalion. And then his name, Sorcerer Supreme. But the question is, why the hell has Hot Toys not made a Wong? Kevin Feige even joked that it's becoming the Wong CU. Dude is popping up everywhere. And no complaints from me, I love Wong. Ever since we first met him in Doctor Strange 1, I have needed this guy in my collection. Hot Toys kept us waiting, and waiting, and we're still waiting with no sign of an official Wong. Unfortunately, down below, there is a little bit of damage on the clam tray thanks to DHL's football match. Anyway, Wong himself, first in-hand impressions... Hey, not bad. What we are going to do now, though, is get all of his accessories. There is more stuff underneath this clam tray laid out in the light box and take a closer look at everything he comes with. Starting off with the display base first. This is a suspiciously hot toys looking rectangular display base, which is a good thing. It's going to fit in really nicely alongside your official figures. Up top, this grippy textured surface with the sanctum window. Then around the front, Nothing. They've left the nameplate blank. Thank goodness. Imagine if this said some stupid shit like Toys Battalion. Leave it blank. It's always the best way to go. Up top, an adjustable crotch grabber. I was absolutely expecting this to be a recast of a Hot Toys Doctor Strange magical effect. It's not. It's their own unique mold. You can tell because this one is rounded. Almost like a shield. And the best part is, if you wanted to, you can use this with a Hot Toys Doctor Strange. Around the back we have the flames that slot into the fingers for that hand specifically. Then around the front, a bunch of magical runes sculpted into the surface. It's cast in translucent plastic, and there is some darker shading on the surface, plus some lighter shading for the raised edges. So when the light hits it, it does glow, and because of all of that shading, there's just a lot more depth there, as opposed to the swords that don't have any depth. They are done in translucent plastic and they're painted, but not well. All of this speckling, I don't really think that's supposed to be there. It kind of looks like overspray slash orange peel. I like the sculpt and I dig that we have two of them. They're just not painted super well. This is an absolutely microscopic accessory. It's his sling ring. It's painted in gold, then over the top of that gold, there's dirt and grime. So it looks weathered and aged, exactly as it should. It's also cast in this rubbery plastic, so you can actually slot it on his hands, no problem whatsoever. Speaking of hands, you do get one specifically designed to use with the sling ring. So when he's casting the spell, you want to use this hand. At least I think it's a spell. Let me know if I'm wrong down below. The hands look great. There's skin texture sculpted and painted. There's knuckle definition. Even for the palm, nicely sculpted. Then the paint applications, they make it look very matte. It's not waxy and glossy and nasty. The only thing I don't like, the fingernails are a bit dark. It kind of looks like Wong has been to the salon. Maybe he has, and once again, maybe that's the effect they were going for, like the terrible paint job on the swords. Who knows? I just think they're a little bit dark, at least for my taste. What we are going to do now, though, is get Wong. 
himself out here. Standing straight up and down in the light box, no crazy poses or accessories or anything like that. Yeah, that's Wong. You have definitely delivered on your promise, Toys Battalion. This does look like Wong from the MCU. All the way down to a custom body, maybe? It's a little bit bigger than a normal 1-6 scale body. He does fill out the outfit exactly as you would expect from Wong. The outfit itself looks good and accurate for the most part. We do have one thing to discuss. And then the icing on the cake the head sculpt. It's surprisingly well done because the outfit is mostly just fabric. The head sculpt does have to do a lot of the heavy lifting. Up close and personal, kicking things off with Wong's head sculpt. It's not perfect, there is no denying that. It has its flaws, it almost looks like a Hot Toys head sculpt from maybe five or six years ago. Not trying to put it down at all, it's still a very strong sculpt. It looks like Wong. He's got this furrowed brow with this very stern expression, perfect for him. He's either going to tell off Doctor Strange or do something badass, either of the two, totally fine with me. There's some skin texture on the surface and a couple of pock marks and some freckles and wrinkles as well. The hair looks good, there's some flow to it. Got the little goatee and the scraggly little beard at the bottom. Overall, it's a good head sculpt, it's just not a great one. For now, this will do as a Wong in the collection. My favourite detail is that there is skin texture and wrinkling and even some Madam's Apple detail all the way down to the base of the neck. The material that they've chosen here is very plush, it's kind of got this Jedi robe-like texture. If you've ever had a Hot Toys Jedi figure, you know exactly that type of texture of fabric that I'm talking about. Very clean stitching, multiple different colours at play. This belt is banging, you've got little clouds, you've got gold accents and they're nice and metallic. Over the top of that, you've got multiple different straps and panels and there's just so much going on with this outfit. And the body, I don't know exactly what type of body this is, but Wong is built. So is this body, it's nice and chonky where it needs to be. His shoulder pads are defined thanks to this tunic over the top of just so many layers. You've got this white collar with some very sharp stitching and all of that line work that we discussed on the back is on the front as well got this design motif which is screen printed and accurate to Doctor Strange 2. Then some dragons, why the heck not? Now I do have him currently wearing his sling ring and it's pretty easy to do, you just slide it on top of his fingers. Then on the other side he's got an adjustable gauntlet, meaning you can move it around pose depending. These panels on his side, they do have this little quilted section up top. You also have some gold almost armor pieces and some pink stitching for a bit of contrast. We then have this thing underneath the cummerbund, and down below, multiple layers for his skirt or the bottom half of his tunic. I do have one complaint though, and it is driving me crazy. All of these panels, they look great. We've got the purple with the nice suede texture, the herringbone patterns, and some gorgeous gold lining with some herringbone texture on the surface there too. This front panel though, wildly inaccurate to the film. To be accurate, this has to be folded back, then folded, then folded again. Believe it or not, this look is screen accurate, and it actually reveals all the panels and the gold lining underneath this purple flap. There are no wires, certainly no magnets, and definitely no stitching to speak of. So you're either going to have to stitch it yourself or get someone else to do it. I am terrible at stitching, so I'll probably go with the latter. I'll try and find someone to fix it for me. As it stands with this purple flap here, it looks like he's wearing a skirt, not to mention it's just not accurate to the film. Underneath all of these panels, we do have some black pants with some vents around the front. Then for the shoes, pretty plain and simple. There's this leather grain texture on the surface. Laces are sculpted, bar laced, very classy Wong. Then on the underside, some sculpted tread. I want to stress this whole situation, it is bugging me. It's not a deal breaker though, it's fixable. He has all of the right ingredients to be as screen accurate as possible. It just requires a little bit more effort on my part, which because this is the only 1-6 scale Wong, oh yes, I am willing to do. Now I do have him with his effect piece on, it just slides over his fingers. Think Hot Toys Doctor Strange, it works in the exact same way. For a quick side-by-side -side comparison, on the left, Wong, Sorcerer Supreme by Toys Battalion, and on the right, my favourite Hot Toys Doctor Strange, the first version. Now as you can see, Doctor Strange is taller. 
which is accurate. He is the taller of the two Benedicts. Benedict Wong is 5 foot 10, whereas Benedict Cumberbatch is 6 foot. So in one six scale, this height difference, I reckon, is on point. Whereas this just isn't. Tilda Swinton, she is tall. In fact, she is taller than Benedict Wong IRL. She's 5 foot 11. So this Ancient One figure, just not tall enough. Not the fault of Wong, of course. I do have to upgrade the body eventually on my Ancient One. For now, I'll just have to somehow prop her up in the collection. Such an underrated figure. Zensation's Zealot Sorcerer, aka Kaecilius, also from the first Doctor Strange film. Played by Mads Mikkelsen, who is the taller of the two actors, so it does make sense that in figure format he is slightly taller than Wong. Now that I have Ancient One and the first Doctor Strange and Wong and Kaecilius, my Doctor Strange display is coming together pretty nicely. Going over the Sorcerer Supreme's articulation, starting off with his head sculpt. It's on a fixed neck with a ball joint at the bottom. Looking forward to there, pretty restricted unfortunately. Going back to there, swivel and pivot side to side. The arms will go up to there, there is no padding and it's just one layer of fabric. Going forward and back, butterfly joint at the shoulder that hinges up and down. Swivel at the bicep, ratcheted double bend at the elbow going the full way. Then for the wrist peg, a hinge and swivel. The torso does have padding and multiple layers to contend with. Crunching forward and back, swivel and pivot side to side. Underneath all these layers, there are quite a few of them. The legs will go forward to there. Going out to there, swivel at the upper thigh. Double bend at the knee on ratchets going just past 90. Then for the ankle, a double wall peg. Good for forward and back, swivel, and ankle tilt. Wrapping up on Toys Battalion's Sorcerer Supreme. Finally, a third party name that actually makes sense. Wong in the MCU is the current Sorcerer Supreme. It's not Doctor Strange, I'm sure he will take that title someday. Right now, it's Wong. And it's so weird to me that I'm standing here reviewing a Wong that has not been made by Hot Toys. This is made by a third party company. Hot Toys, shame on you. Why do we not have an official Wong? Every time we see him collectively as a fan base in the MCU, either on the big screen or on the TV screen in Disney Plus shows, we say, oh, now is the time, Hot Toys, surely they can't not make him. With each appearance, he has been getting more and more screen time and more and more badass. Nope. Still just not interested. Luckily, Toys Battalion, they were interested, and this is a very solid figure. He's not perfect, don't hear what I'm not saying. You will need to do a little bit of futzing. I like the head sculpt, but the paint lets it down ever so slightly. It still looks like him, and he will still definitely be going in the display. The body is slightly bigger and beefier to match Wong's proportions, like the way that looks. Then over the top of the body, the outfit is full fabric, which is great for posing. The accessories, you don't get a ton, you get enough. You get the sling ring, you get his mystical magical swords, and his magical disc effect. Maybe it's a shield, maybe it's some other kind of spell. I still would have liked to have seen more effect pieces, considering he is the Sorcerer Supreme after all. I'm not complaining, the ones he comes with more than serviceable. The only major complaint I have is the inaccuracy of the outfit. That flap, it really should have been stitched in position. It's a small mod and something that I am willing to do to get this guy to be as accurate as possible. I know that not everyone will be willing to do that, and I understand if that is one of the reasons why you don't want to get him, just pass on him. Maybe Hot Toys will make Wong one day. Or not. Who knows? Now, I got mine from ToysWonderland.com. Link for that is in the description below for your reference purposes only. After all, this is an unlicensed, unofficial figure. This is not a promotional video. This is a review on a figure that's going in my Doctor Strange collection after this video is done. I can't wait to pop him in alongside the rest of them. While you're down in the description, why not hit that subscribe, bell notification icon, and join button, if you like the sound of seeing your name in the end credits of my reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next video.